How we going guys? I'm off to Aviemore. I'm 200 miles from my house. It took me about three and a half hours to get here. So let's park in the front and then we're going to stop and then trek in. I'm at Aviemore, I'm with uh, Danny Stravega. Peace out. If we can see him, yeah. He's in the Halliburg crew. Look, right there to, I'll show you off my torch. It's a bit late, we've got here, we got here about an hour ago, but I'm too busy blabbering away to show you anything. So there's Danny, he's got the Halliburg Siacto. There's Steve, but Steve doesn't like to be in videos, so I'll just show you his tent. He's got the solo. Mark, he's over there. We turned up late, so we're actually camping in some car park. <laughs> I'll give you a look in the morning. And uh, if anybody watched Eddie's video, that's where he was. Scottswell Camper. Away up there on that mountain last week. There's my tent. My camera's not focusing. But there's my tent. There we go. It's better in the dark. So I'm right next to the loch. A loch. A loch. That'll be my view in the morning, look. The mountains. Can't beat that view, can you, not? There's Danny's little dog, Bo, he's called it. He's too high for four seats. Look, he's got it? the little air. Uh, I know, I, I think it's a mistake in it. Should be down to aggression, too, for four. Because there's a safe game, we're sitting up like that, no fucking tent. Lift the tent up, see, you get squashed back. Because the ground sheet doesn't go up that high. And that kind of thing, you look kind of a person around all the way up. The thing is, see if it was, see if you were up. There's my seat that, for right? tonight. Like, well, it was windy and it was snowing. Oh, You've got a lot of spin graft in that, in that, in that right. vestibule. That's what I'm saying, I need to cut a couple of inches off it. Can you take the inches off it, eh? Aye. Oh, yes. <laughs> I've got a tear on the inch off it, you used to sit higher than that. Oh. I would just mark it to there. You fucking cut that off. Aye, that's what I'm going to do with you. It's slack for the way of. Taking the tension over it. He's got tension bands on it, really. Pull that down. It doesn't have a right down. There's a lot of thing there. It's probably high. The pull must be just too much for it to stretch. Right. Nice tent, though, eh? Nice and roomy. That's all right. It's spicy. What's the weight on it, Mark? 2.7. That's all right, that. That's pretty size, eh? Right, actually. My fucking Banshee 200 is. Oh, that was a bad one. <laughs> Give you a look at my tent, it's the usual setup that I've always used. Yeah, still using the nature hike. I've not got myself the Halliburg yet. I will be getting it soon. Yeah. I've brung my Arctic sleeping bag with me as well, my British Army one. Got my usual. That sleeping bag that I bought, the El Cheapo uh, down one. But I don't rate it. I thought it was going to be colder, so I brung the Arctic one. So rather than being cold, I just carried two sleeping bags. And uh, I've just got my Vango. Bango mat, the self-inflating one, and I've got the 
reflective flown mat thing. So I'm gonna have some chili tonight. It's in the car, so that'll be my dinner. But that's my view, right by the loch. Hopefully the loch doesn't come up. <clears throat> it's about half past six guys. It's pitch black out there. I'm going to have myself some chilli. Easy peasy chilli. I've got some uh, peppers. Red peppers, yellow peppers, green pepper. Got myself a brown onion. Got myself the passata sauce, uh, salt and pepper, garlic, and uh, normally I just put chili and all that kind of stuff in it, but I just decided to buy the chili con carne and then I'll add that straight into it. So I'm going to make myself that. So I'm going to dice up the dice up the peppers. I'm using my El Cheapo little folding knife that I've got from Poundland. It was blunt but I just sharpened it up. So I'll chop them up and I'm going to be using the Trangia Triangle. I've got my Snow Peak 1400ml titanium pot. And I'm using the Alpkit 900ml titanium pot, but I use it as a cup, so I'm going to have a cup of coffee. I'm just telling you what kind they are because people will ask, and it will save me from people asking. So it's the Alpkit, and that one's the Snow Peak one. So, let's get to the chopping the peppers up. Stay. So that's me, I sliced all the peppers up. I've got my peppers and my onions on. Normally I would add in uh, oil, right? But I added in water. But Danny was just saying to me, Danny's an expert cook up Danny's here. Dan right? But uh, Danny says you can just add in the water. So it probably will be better than adding the oil on. Yeah. My trangia was full, right? But this dog here. <laughs> Spilt it, so the trangers in, in the grass now. So I apologise on boys' behalf. That's that's like twenty pence I've lost there. <laughs> <laughs> but luckily I've got a full bottle of uh, mess with me. So we'll get the trangier lit. We'll get that on. And as Danny says, the moisture should come out the peppers. Yeah. So he's probably right enough. And I'll put the lid on. So we'll get that on the go. So, <coughs> so there's the peppers, they're all ready. Peppers, got my onions in there. There's the peppers ready. I had to take them off. The camera steamed up there. So, peppers, onions ready. Now I'm going to add in the mince. I'll add that into my other pot. I'll add in the mince next. <coughs> so there we go, I've got the mince on. I'll cook that, let that cook away. Give it a good stir. So the mince is cooking away nicely. I've added in some salt and pepper. I'm going to give it some uh, garlic. Normally I would use fresh garlic, but I just brung the packet of garlic. I've done some of that. I like a lot of garlic, so... <coughs> there we go. I think that much, look. A bit more. I like a lot of... a lot of garlic in my food, so... about that. Give it a mix up. Mark came over and says he can smell my food, look. So he's following me as well. 
It's no all his. <laughs> it's, it's, it is, it's <laughs> all mines. It's all mines! We've thrown them in the lock and eaten his chilli. <laughs> so I'm going to add in the sauce to it next, uh, passata. And then I'll re-add in the onions and the peppers. And then I'll let it simmer away. It's almost like so, a barbecue. There's my chilli. It's ready. No joke, right? See even see the, the packet? There's another one, right? Do you know what I was doing? I was I was wafting it about, right? Like that. And it went bloody everywhere. Look, it's all over my jacket. But Danny's up there looking, right? He says to me, Can we see him? He's there. Here's my, here's my torch. Can, can you shine that in Danny? Right, there's Danny, right? Hey everybody. <laughs> my camera's not focusing, but eh. Uh, he says to me, it's like watching a cooking show. <laughs> it was. Jamie Oliver, eat your heart out. Jamie Oliver, eh? Can't find my camera, I don't, my, my torch, so. But there we go. It's all mines as usual, all mines, all mines. None for Danny, none for Mark, <laughs> none for Steve. It's all mines. It's just a portion for you, Steve, is enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want some, Daddy? Aye. Oh, my God, he's had fish and chips and everything. No, I just had some chips. They all went to the fish and chip shop. Yeah, yours is by the cost, you wait. Oh. <laughs> but there we go, it's simmering away. <laughs> you might think it's late, right? But it's really not. It's only about. I don't know, 7 o'clock or something like that. But there's uh, Steve's Halleberg, that's the one I want. He's got the green one, but I want the sand one. My tent is over there. Uh, my chilli's uh, simmering away. Steve's just uh, getting all his gear. Getting ready for tonight. There's Danny's tent. The little... Uh, Actor, and then Mark, he's up there. We've got uh, people over there as well. I'm going to show you. I think Mark, he's cooking. You cooking, Mark? Me? You cooking? No. Nah, he's just having a cigarette in his tent, I think. Just organising things. Oh, it's chilly, chilly here. But yeah, I'm going to go back and check the chilly. There we go, the chilli's ready. I'm going to have them on some wraps. I've just got the wraps from Asda. Usual wraps. Do you want some, Danny? No, right, the rest of will get some in a bit, mate. I'm a bit bloated with all these. Do you want some, Mark? I'll be a, a spoonful just to taste it, sure. So, there we go, it's on the wrap. Do you want some, Steve? I'm fine, thank you, Steve. Oh, I can't even give it away, look. But there we go. That's all mine, so I'm going to wrap that up and eat that. Lovely jubbly. That's my through night torch that I'm using. The uh, catapult one. And some uh, <coughs> there's my chili. Had some of the chili on some wraps. That's the leftovers.
is the time, 8.46 but yeah I'm off to bed I might have some of that before I go oh, here's Danny's dog appeared there look. likes the chilli, there's more So I'm all ready for bed. I've got my long johns on. I've got my thermal top thing on. <laughs> Finished that chilli. <laughs> that was good. And uh, I'm going to play a little game. My Ollie, he installed this on my phone, right? It's a. Uh, see if you've ever watched Ryan's toy reviews. He's got a computer game as well. So. I'm going to play that, look, so, look, what you have to do is, you have to avoid the bits, look, see it, and you jump, <whistles> it's pretty chilly, it's only like uh, one or two degrees, it's not like freezing cold, but I'm glad I'm in my bag, I'm in the tent. So I'm going to play that for like 10 minutes and then jump in the sleeping bag. This is my Ollie's favourite game at the moment, he loves to play this. Mm -hmm. ah! So there we go, you get the just. So yeah, I'm using the flashlight in the tent look that's tons of room in here tons of uh, not room tons of light using this flashlight isn't it that's the the through night one so I'm going to do a giveaway soon I'm going to give one of these away if you want to enter just watch for the video so I'm off to bed guys, I'll see you in the morning. Oh. I'm inside my bag, look, two bags, I've got the down one and I've got my British Army one. So, <laughs> oh, I should be nice and toasty tonight. Oh. A heavy carrying two bags, but oh, it's well worth it. Ah, uh, so night, night, guys. Yeah, but Steve's got a big fancy. What sleeping bag you got, Steve? What kind of bag you got, Steve? Yeah. But catch you in the morning, guys. Night, guy. Night, John. Bye. Good night, Mary Ellen. <laughs> Catch you in the morning. Morning, man. It's uh, let's see what time it is. It's uh, six o'clock. There we go. It really wasn't that cold last night, so I, uh, I threw the, the sleeping bag off that one, and I just uh, used the British Army one. So coffee time. I'm using that, uh, see that flashlight, the one that I got from Three Night. I've been using that as like a Tops, look, what you call it? Put inside the tent. So, when I get up, get a lovely coffee. Probably pack up because uh, we are in a car park. So, my camera's kind of steaming up. I better go. 
Morning guys, there's my tent with the three night light on it. That does work really good. That was Danny snoring, but it's his dog. <laughs> oh, that's me, Mark. Can you hear Steve? Can you hear Steve? Steve is it? Heard them all night. Oh, my God, I'm right next to him. <laughs> oh, your tent lights up good, Mark. Oh. Your tent's lit up nice and good. That's Mark's. See, see when I put that through night talk, John? Yeah. Mine's just lit up like a... It's... My God. But it's too dark to get a picture. See with the luck. Aye. Too dark, yeah. But I, I like that flashlight. I'm so glad they gave me it. Yeah. Great, eh? It's nice, I yeah. I the next thing's even bigger. Well, I think I'll probably just keep giving me loads, won't I? I guess you're hit today. There's Mark lying in his, uh, I'm trying to think what you call it, a tent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's too early in the morning. Yeah. What's it called? It's a tent. Morning, people. Are you cosy, Mark? I am, but <laughs> my arms know that's outside. Temperature, is it? But minus one or something. It's, it's fine. I had my two sleeping bags on, but I had to throw one of them off. Right, too hot. It was, wasn't that cold. For two. Yeah, I had to take my, my sweater off because I was getting all bunged up again with the, the heat. Mark's got a Robin's. <laughs> What's this? A Robin Raptor, Mark, Raptor, isn't it? Yeah. I like this tent. I see every time I see it, I'm like. Oh. Yeah. It's big though, eh? It needs a, a good sized footprint. Yeah, that's the only kind of. The only kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah. It's a nice tent. <coughs> so, Mark's making the coffees. Steve's still snoring in the back there, if you can hear him. I showed him a little clip of my ago. I'm sure you can hear if you hear, but he's over there. I've not camped with Steve for a few years and I forgot how much he snores. <laughs> no joke. So, I'll remember that for tomorrow. I snored, but you can never hear yourself snoring, can you not? I heard the three of you last night. Oh. I woke up, it was only... So I woke up and I thought I'd been sleeping pretty much all night and it was like half past eleven at night. And you guys were all snoring. <laughs> <laughs> there was two of you that were snoring in time. <laughs> well, that was, that was uh, Steve and... <coughs> Steve and Danny. <laughs> so... We're going to go for our coffee. So Daddy's watching. You snore, but not as bad as Steve. Steve's the worst. <laughs> I think Daddy's awake, so I better not say it too I loud. snore as well, eh, but I didn't hear it. Yeah. So. Mark's just checked. He's, he's got one of these temperature things, right? I hung it up in that tree. See over there? I don't know if you can see it, but I hung it up. It's three degrees at the moment. It says on Met Office it's one degree. Oh, more like. Ah, it's to drop. Drop to freezing in about an hour. That's to get to minus. Matt's still in his tent. Had our coffee. Just waiting for Danny and Steve to wake up. Oh, there's the, there's the beast of this one. So I've got
got the pot on with uh, some wash not like we've done it. My, I forgot to wash my pot last night. But that's what I was using for my uh, it's like a spatula. It's an old set of wooden tongs, bamboo. But the brook, I just repurposed it and used it as a uh, spatula on them. So I'll just give my pot a clean for tonight. I've got more mints and I'm going to have another chilli. So I think that's almost done. I'll give it a little clean with my uh, little sponge. So, brew time. I'm going to get a nice brew on, nice coffee. Just using the Outcat 900ml. Uh, where's my lid? There we go. my coffee ready. There we go, black coffee, can't beat it. Look at that cool down. So there's my pot, spotless. Nice and clean now for tonight. So yeah, I'm probably going to pack up and uh, put my tent and all that in the car. And then I think we're going to Glen Feshe after this. So I'll give you a look after I've packed and I'll show you there's no mess, all of that. Leave no trace, palaver. And then I'll see you in Glen Feshe. I'll do that as a separate video. So thanks guys, thanks for watching. Thank you. So it's starting to get light, that's uh, there is a road quite close to us there, but see to be honest, see when it got to about 8, 9 o'clock at night, never heard a car been passed, there's my car there, uh, Mark's car and then Danny's car's over there, but uh, somebody was camping here, so their car was right in, that's a big Agnes tent. We've got a, a three camper vans up here, and then right down the bottom we've got an RV. 
somebody's sleeping in their car, doing a car camper type thing. <laughs> like uh, my car. But it's a bigger car they've got. They've got a big car like Mart's. Uh, big long car. Mine's, mine's is a little clear. There's where Mark's tent is, right next to his car. That's what you call car camping, isn't it? Look. There's his car. There's his tent. Nice big Robin's Rapture. I do like that tent. Very nice. And uh, I'm sure I said, but that's a... Uh, if my camera focuses, that's uh, Danny's tent. And then... We've got Steve's tent and then my nature hike tent with my big torch on it. There's Danny awake, look. Got me his trousers done. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good little spot, this, it really is. Because we came late, we came up like. I can't remember the time, but it gets dark here like half three, so. It's a good little spot in this car park. I can't remember the name of that lock, it's lock, it starts with an M, but what I'll do is, I'll put it on the video here, right, so, I'm going to pack up, and we're going to head, so, thank you. So that's me, packed up, that's where my tent was, no mess, being left. There's Steve and Danny. There's the mountain for the last time, look. I like this little spot. I think I can see a spot over there, but I think that's a road. That goes through there. Very cool. Good little spot on this. Steve went to the shop last night and got some flip reduced cakes, uh, 8 pence.